Hey guys, got a cool video for you, and I had made a video about this probably, shoot, four years ago, and when I deleted my YouTube account for the first time, I deleted a lot of videos, and that was also the same period of time as all the VHD Vault stuff, but I came across what I'm about to discuss again, and figured I should make another video of it, because it's kind of hard to come by and I made it a little bit easier and what you can actually do with these discs is actually super cool if you have an older machine. So what they are is we'll go ahead and mount this, we'll mount the first one. And then we'll go to this. And then we will go ahead and run the setup. So what you can do with these is it's actually a disk, there's two disks. One of them is all the Windows NT operating systems from Windows NT 4.0 to XP Service Pack 1, also including Windows 2000 Server Editions and Windows Server 2003 Editions. So you can actually click on one of these. And you actually get the option to create a standalone ISO file from one of the operating systems on this disk. Or you could try running workstation, terminal server, or enterprise server setup on here, but because I'm running Windows 10, that's not really going to work. So we'll go ahead and look at Windows 2000. And it's just like the Windows 2000 installer, and it's similar to the NT installer. You get add on components, browse a CD and make standalone ISO files. So just for an example, we'll click that. And then you can click whatever OS you choose. And then it'll open up CMD here. And then we will go to my computer, local disk C, and there is your Windows 2000 operating system. The standalone if you need to burn it on like a CD or something because you have an older machine that can't use a DVD. So that's pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And then we'll take a look at XP. It takes a second to load off the disks here. Granted, I am doing this on a Core 2 Duo machine with 6 gigs of RAM when I should be using my i7. But you know, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> so. Under here you get Windows XP Home, you get the three editions of Home, the Retail, OEM, and VLM. You get Windows XP Media Center Edition, this is actually Media Center Edition 2002, it's not 2005. We also get the three editions of Windows XP Pro, Windows XP Tablet PC Edition, and then again you can do setup remote desktop connection, create standalone ISOs, browse the CD, or view the release notes. Then if you click which ISO do you want to make, you can select whatever OS, and then you can also select Windows XP Pro CD too. So take a look at server 2003. It's the same thing as XP, you get standard enterprise data center web, and then the VLM editions of the same operating systems. And then the same set of remote desktop connection, standalone ISOs, browse the CD, or view the release notes. Exit out of that. Take a look at the release notes. Now, in this document, you get all the system requirements for the operating systems. And just some extra notes on those, and like where you could find service packs to install them on the disk. You also get all these keys for every edition of the operating system, depending on whatever you decide to use. So you can see that's what DVD 1 contains. And then DVD 2 contains pretty much all the DOS stuff and then the NT 3.1 stuff. And then on top of that, DVD 2 actually includes even more stuff, pretty much all the way to the first version of Windows and DOS. You also get all the Internet Explorer versions, the DirectX versions up to 9, Windows Media Player, MSN Messenger, and then just a legal notice. And this was actually made in 2004, if I recall. Oh, no, end of 2003. So we will go ahead and exit out of that. 
and we'll take a look at DVD 2. And run the setup on this one. Whoops. So just like the other disc, you get the three or four options and then Microsoft Plus. Take a look at NT3. And it's pretty much a setup just like the Windows NT4. However, you don't get an option to create standalone ISOs on this. Take a look at Windows 95. Let's get the options to run setup, create an ISO, browse a CD, or add and remove software. Take a look at Windows 98. So you get quite a few options under here. You can actually install the Windows 98 first edition, or you can install the Windows 98 second edition. Of course, you can create standalone ISOs of whichever you choose. You can browse the CD, or again, add and remove software. We have Windows Millennium Edition, or short is Windows Me. So you get Windows Millennium upgrade, to step up, Windows Millennium, create standalone ISOs of either one of those three, browse the CD, or add and remove software. So then if you click Microsoft Plus, this will take you to a new window where you can install it under Windows 95, 98, XP, or DME. DME, I personally don't know what it stands for, but it's there. So you can do standalone ISOs of either one of those four as well. So let's go ahead and see how this actually works. So I'll go ahead and eject these. I guess you can't do two at a time. So we'll open up VirtualBox, and then we will make one for Windows Server 2003, just because I haven't really used Server 2003 in who knows how long. So, yeah, we could bump that up. Do 768. Create a new virtual dir or create a new virtual drive. We'll go ahead and start. And then because this is an NT operating system, we will mount DVD-1. So when you go to boot off of it, you can actually pick one of these. So we'll go ahead and pick one. And then you can select whatever operating system you like, the corporate or the retail. So we will go with 7 here. So you can see it actually starts the Windows installer like it would be on any other computer. Just your typical. So I'm not going to go through the whole entire installer, but you get the idea that it will install the entire operating system. You can go to set it up from there. So. I will go ahead and just shut this down. So we'll try one with the DOS. Just because I feel like using Windows 98. Actually, you know what? I'll make that Millennium Edition. It'd be nice to give it 256. So we will select DVD2 for this. And it's similar to the other thing. So we'll go one.
Okay. Took a second there to format, so I just paused the video. Okay, now we have the Windows Millennium Edition set. So again, with this one, you get the idea that you can install the full operating system on this. So that way you guys aren't stuck watching this. I will go ahead and end the video now, but the download links will be in the description. They will be hosted on mega. So they should be pretty quick. They I actually had to torrent these files in order to download them. And it took several days because there wasn't cedars whatsoever, but I did finally get them. So those links will be in the description. So go ahead and get to downloading and stay tuned for more.